Hello, welcome to the online meeting with SWPS University. Today we will answer your questions about the admission process to our university uh, and uh, about our programs of study in English language. Uh, this webinar is funded by the National Agency for Academic Exchange under the Welcome to Poland project, which is called SWPS University Ambassadors. My name is Dorota Słowińska, I am admissions officer and I'm here today with Dr. Agnieszka Golińska. Hi Agnieszka. Hello, good morning. Uh, Agnieszka Golińska is a business psychologist. She's an ass assistant professor, head of first degree uh, management and leadership studies at the Faculty of Social Science and, um, at SWPS University. Uh, I'm here today also with Mateusz Cholewski. Hi, Mateusz. Hi, everyone. Mateusz is an uh, employee of the Faculty of Psychology in Warsaw, specifically looking after psychology studies in English. Uh, and also Mateusz is a graduate of English Studies program at our university. And our last guest is Gazis, uh, who is a graduate of English Studies program and our ambassador currently working as an investment banker in Warsaw. Hi, Gazis. Hello, everyone. Um, my colleague Adriana is available for uh, you in the chat box where you can ask questions regarding the university uh, and the admissions process. And also Adriana will send you the link to our website where you can find information on studies that we offer, the application process, tuition fees, scholarships and many more. So now the first question, we can uh, go to the main part of our webinar. Um, I would like to ask Mateusz about our psychology programs. Could you describe bachelor, bachelor and master studies uh, and tell us how are they different from psychology programs uh, offered by different universities? Uh, thank you, Dorota. Uh, <clears throat> yes, so basically um, starting point is that we need to know and examine that psychology is a dis discipline whose goal is to understand and improve functions of individual groups and societies as whole. So um, psychologists have to deal with different diagnoses, uh, treatments, mental problems, health issues. And uh, this this aspect will be all uh, defined later when students will choose their um, specializations. So we start from bachelor degree to gather the basic knowledge and, and the whole knowledge how the uh, psychology is constructed. So um, we need to, I would like to remind that uh, our psychology is a leading psychology teaching and research center in Poland and it has had, has been confirmed as a numerous uh, international rankings, such in Times, for example, uh, in the higher education uh, world university rankings and US global rankings, or for example, Shanghai ranking. So um, starting with uh, studies as a whole, because it's hard to, um, for now it's hard to separate them. Uh, we have bachelor degree, so this is the first uh, degree of psychology. We have then uh, two specializations for the second degree, master degree, which is applied social psychology and clinical psychology. And uh, to say something about, for example, applied, so the applied programs follows a scientific uh, practitioner model and students are exposed to various aspects of psychology, such as, for example, psychological diagnosis, social neuroscience, psychology and technology, uh, dynamic social, uh, social psychology, and for example, cultural di diversity management. Uh, also, I can mention, for example, that our lecturers, our teachers, uh, like Dr. Vinkowska Novak is a lecturer from uh, Florida Atlantic University, or Dr. Agnieszka Lenton, who is a co-founder of Polish Psychological Association in the UK, uh, provide our lectures. So we have a strong crew, we have pretty good crew, and uh, they are um, in a subject of international matters. So they are not only Polish related, but also they are, um, like I said before, international America and, and other countries related. Uh, and about clinical, so our clinical psychology uh, specialization is pretty good a good choice for students who are interested in mental and behavioral health, uh, who want to help others to understand and overcome psychologically based distress and prevent uh, emotional and social 
this functions in daily life. Uh, there are some courses such as Abnormal Psychology, which include two modules. It's uh, Abnormal Psychology, one focusing on child and a uh, second one is focused more on adult psychopathology. We have courses such as Psychotherapy, Foundations of Clinical Psychology and Psychological, psychological Diagnosis. Uh, also, what I want to, what I would like to mention <clears throat> is that on a second degree, so the master degree, uh, there is uh, an option for students who hold the undergraduate degree in psychology or also related field of study that students can uh, have a possibility to complete two non-obligatory free of charge courses. It is methodology and statistics introduction and psychopathology or introduction to social psychology. It just depends which specialization student will choose. So getting back to information, why, why uh, our bachelor degree, why our master degree, why our university? So uh, we have to be, uh, we have to bear in mind that uh, we focus on an international scope which gives a chance to learn from specialists with inter international backgrounds, which I mentioned before. Uh, we put emphasis on practical implementation mm, of theor theoretical knowledge. So, so our staff are not only lecturers, but they are also practitioners in the field of psychology. So they are all, always active and always uh, in a subject. So. Mm, we have research laborator laboratories, uh, scientific clubs supervised by spe specialists such as, for example, Professor Białaszek or Professor Kreitz. Uh, it's good to mention that we have a, st a student government as well as we always have a student representatives who can, who can be contacted with. So students can not only come to us or for example, to a lecturer, but they can find a person uh, who is there for them and it's between them. So it's it's more comfortable for them to find at the university. Uh, as an extra information, for example, this year we have organized in a collaboration uh, with the University of Aberdeen and uh, it was related to a program from NAVA a free of charge extra elective course called Current Topics in Psychology with U University of Aberdeen. And we are still cooperating and trying to do extra things like that for students every year. Mm, there is always uh, an internship, which I think there will be a lot of questions sooner or later. Uh, so interesting thing is that we on the second degree offer two types of uh, internships so we basically uh, offer the institutional one which we give you offers and we uh, find you places where you can participate in or you can do it in your individual basis so we try to give a chance to students that they if we don't have something they can uh, come up with something even from your country and then you just need to uh, prepare specific uh, documentation, deliver it to us and you can pass the practicum the way you want it. So, for example, if you are if you live in Norway, it's more comfortable for you, then you can do that practicum in Norway, those 90 hours and you can deliver it to us. Uh, so I think for now, uh, I don't know what to say more, so I would get back to you later, maybe with yeah. another question. Sure. Uh, thank you, Mateusz. Maybe I will add additional thing that is uh, different at our universities when it comes to psychology. Psychology is that uh, a lot of universities in Poland and also in Europe offer five year mutual studies in psychology with us, with our university. Uh, the programs in English are um, uh, bachelor degree and master degree. So you can always choose a different master degree after your uh, psychology studies. For example, you can combine it with management studies on master level. So it gives you more flexibility to, to study first bachelor studies and then master studies. Also, for uh, students who are studying psychology or finishing psychology on bachelor level, you can always apply to our master studies 
uh, but we'll uh, talk about the uh, qualification procedure later um, when it comes to psychology. Another question for, uh, is for Agnieszka. Um, how is management different uh, at our university? Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Dorota. I think one of the major differences uh, is the emphasis that we put on practice. Um, and uh, when it comes to the management program, both on the BA and MA level, uh, there are uh, numerous practical components within the, within the program. And the first one, and I think uh, uh, Mateusz already talked about it a little when he was describing psychology, um, is the question of internships. The um, management students, both on the MA and BA level, must do the internship. And in this case, this internship is part of the program, which means it's not uh, an additional internship, not something that students do during their holidays. But they basically, um, they have opportunity to uh, gain some practical experience during their studies. So they start looking for the internship basically uh, during the first weeks of, of, of their studies. Um, they might do their internship here, here in, in Poland, and that's what uh, many students um, actually choose to do. But we also have students that uh, right now, due to the pandemic situation, uh, were studying from their, um, from their own countries, and they were also um, they were also working and doing their internships uh, over there or in some other third uh, country. So there is a variety of, of stories that they uh, share with us. Um, and it's important to emphasize that the internship have obligatory um, character here. So it means that all the students must do them in order to graduate uh, and they uh, also receive a great based on the progress and then uh, also the evaluation done by the, um, the employer. Um, an additional practical component of our program are the courses uh, that we call project courses uh, and these are very particular type of um, classes where students together with uh, the instructor with the professor uh, work in order to propose solutions for a selected company so we have partners that cooperate with uh, our uh, faculty since um, since actually a really long time uh, and they come to us um, and ask our students to help them solve some problem that they have. It might be, for example, a problem, pro, a problem related to entering some new market. Um, they might be a problem that they have uh, with their staff. Uh, for example, this semester we have a company uh, where uh, students are advising how to motivate uh, employees. Uh, so basically the company comes with some problem and students together with um, with the instruct, instructor work in order to diagnose this problem and propose some, some solutions. Um, one more practical component uh, is um, uh, in case of the BA program, um, is the project portfolio that students defend at the end of the Mm, well, the, the, at the end of the sixth semester. So it's not the thesis that they need to uh, write and submit, but in this case, based on these project courses, they, um, they, they create the project portfolio that they defend at the end of their studies. So I think this is very interesting, and this is something that also um, can, be, can be considered uh, an important differentiator of, of our management program. Um, and similarly to psychology, we also have practitioners, um, experts from different uh, disciplines of management that teach classes here, but they also are invited as guests uh, for example, a few weeks ago, we had um, a very, very interesting um, webinar with um, ex-CEO of uh, Volkswagen uh, in Poland, Mr. Oxen. So our students had opportunity not only to listen to his experience, but also to ask questions and, and interact with, um, with a really distinguished, internationally distinguished uh, leader. Uh, so this practical component would be the first thing I would like to mention, and the second one is um, the link of our program with psychology. So our university is famous um, um, famous uh, um, as a psychological university. And here, although we teach management, we also want to keep this close uh, link with the discipline of psychology. Uh, we believe that people are at the core of management and we cannot manage organizations without actually managing individuals, without managing 
uh, group. So we have to think about the um, motivation of, of the employees, about uh, their emotions. Uh, and uh, this is the, uh, the important uh, um, uh, characteristic of the program that I also think um, is something very innovative uh, and may distinguish our program. Thank you, Agnieszka. So now we we know how a psychology studies and uh, management studies look like. Uh, and we have Gazis here, who is our ambassador, who uh, graduated from English studies program. So maybe we will now hear the perspective of our uh, graduate who used to be our student and used to be a candidate. Uh, Gazis, do you remember which factors made you choose our university? And also, I'm very curious whether you first picked the country and then were looking for studies uh, in specific area, or first you knew that you want to study English studies and then you picked country and the university. Uh, university. How was it with you? Thank you for the question, Dorota. I'm really happy to be here and to answer to all those uh, questions. Uh, right after uh, graduating from high school uh, back in 2015, uh, I had a dream to study in a foreign country, somewhere in Europe. Uh, so the, the first thing was uh, in a foreign country. This was the main uh, factor. And uh, of course, uh, then I had to filter out uh, my expectations and uh, then uh, it, it was down, uh, downgraded to like budget-wise. Uh, in this uh, case, uh, Poland is most favorable country in Europe, I'd say, uh, among uh, other European countries. Uh, also, uh, that there were many uh, English uh, or, or in, uh, offered courses which were in English, which is uh, really nice. And uh, of course, uh, good uh, quality of education, which were the most important thing. Uh, to pursue a foreign uh, uh, diploma in a foreign country. Uh, These were the factors. Of course, uh, right after uh, finding Poland, uh, uh, I started looking at uh, various websites and uh, searched various uh, universities. And uh, the, uh, after that, I looked at uh, rankings, uh, local uh, rankings, international rankings, and the SOPS was among them. Uh, especially with our courses, English studies. So uh, in, in terms of psychology, as mentioned uh, above, uh, psychology, management and the uh, English studies were the uh, top uh, programs that were uh, that were offered by SWPS University. Uh, also, uh, uh, I look at, at uh, international partnerships, uh, uh, such programs like uh, Erasmus program, for example, or some internal uh, partner universities in various countries, uh, which were, uh, which is also, uh, th those were on uh, my uh, on my list, and uh, of course academics. Uh, if you go to the website of university, you can see the uh, portfolios uh, or and uh, of pe people or teachers, professors, and uh, you can clearly see how uh, they are experienced and the. Uh, uh, where they worked previously. So uh, all, uh, combining all these factors, uh, SWPS University, especially English in, in Studies program, uh, was uh, the best choice uh, for me. And uh, I came to study uh, in 2015, decided to study in 2015 and graduated from that same university. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Gazi. So now I would like to ask uh, Adriana, who is at the chat box, to send uh, a link to Gazi's bio, because not only our lecturers and uh, staff is over there, <laughs> but also our ambassadors. Uh, Gazi's is amongst them. Uh, among them. So, uh, if you would like to talk to Gazi's and uh, seek an uh, online meeting with Gazi's and ask him about uh, uh, studies here and um, uh, about moving to Poland, Gazi's, in what language uh, languages are you speaking? Uh, currently in English, <laughs> of course. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, the the thing is, uh, I, I, when I before I come before coming to Poland, I spoke uh, Kazakh and uh, Russian languages. Mm -hmm. uh, after coming to Poland, uh, my English uh, has developed as I studied in a, a English studies program, uh, mm -hmm. and then uh, thanks to that uh, uh, international partnership, I went to study to Turkey for one year. So I. Uh, enhanced my uh, Turkish language level. And of course, Polish language, uh, I, uh, here in Poland, uh, I use on a daily basis some basic words, not the advanced. Perfect. Part, 
So if, if any one of you would like to talk to Gazis or other ambassadors, our students and graduates, you can check our website and uh, fix an appointment with them. Uh, thank you, Gazi, so much. So now the next question would be, because we went through the uh, decision process and now we have to go through the admission process. And we have a lot of questions uh, from our uh, candidates regarding the exams for clinical psychology and applied social psychology or master psychology programs. So Mata, uh, could you tell us uh, how the ex exams look like and what our candidates should focus on uh, in preparing for them? Okay, so um, regarding the, oh, we can call it an exam, let it be this way, in, in psychology. It is that exam in the form of the interview. Let's yes, say. yes, that, that's what I, thank you, thank you, Dorota. <laughs> what I wanted to say that it's the qualification examination in the form of an interview in English. So uh, that's, that's basically how it looks like. Uh, so uh, prior to the interview, the candidate will receive a short questionnaire. And what will be verified uh, through our examinators, uh, also our lecturers, so English language competence and the ability to formulate and justify opinions, uh, expectation towards the graduate studies, uh, readiness, uh, readiness to study hard, and interest and objectives regarding psychological career also. Uh, I think there will be a simple question, what did, why did you choose this path, this career uh, at, as a psychologist, um, as a, mm, yeah, as a psychologist, basically. And there will be also free text. Uh, you'll have to choose one of them. Uh, and the interviewer will just ask several questions regarding that text. So, so definitely be prepared from that text. Uh, what else I can say? Uh, maximum, as I had, it's 60 points. A minimum is 45 points. Uh, there is always uh, a, there is a, always a, a situation when a number of candidates can obtain an equal number of points. So our community uh, reserves the right to take an additional analysis uh, of the candidates' pre previous education from the perspective of the proximity of the completed undergraduate study curriculum, as well as your uh, short questionnaire, which we will, which students will uh, fill up. So what I can tell you about it, how to prepare, just basically be yourself, because if you choose your studies to be psychologist, for example, then uh, you know what's your path and you want you know what what do you want to receive especially that your specialization will be chosen by you then uh, is it clinical or is psychology or is it applied social psychology so just try to feel try to be comfortable and try to uh, just be yourself they will ask you several questions but it won't be I believe that hard questions about a specific class, specific lecture or specific, I don't know, sickness, for example, uh, they'll just, they just want to know you and they want to see uh, how you, how, how do you want to reach your knowledge. So try to feel comfortable and just be yourself. That's, that's my advice. Okay. Thank you, Mateusz. Uh, Agnieszka, how about the exam for master studies in management? How does it look like and what we are looking for in a candidate for this program? Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad that uh, Mateusz already described the, the process in general, so, so uh, maybe I'll just uh, uh, point out some differences mm -hmm. um, uh, in case of management. Uh, so uh, if you have graduated from a degree um, as management or, or similar one, um, you don't have to take the um, exam. You don't have to participate uh, in the in the interview. For the candidates that have graduated from uh, in, in different disciplines, um, we ask them to read two articles, and uh, then uh, the exam, the questions are based on the readings. Um, in this case, we try to select the uh, journal articles that are um, describing management practices in general. So they are also not very specific. And I think this is uh, something uh, similar to those in psychology. So we don't dive 
really deep into into the topic. It's rather about um, verifying the general understanding of the of the topic. And then also the interview um, interview's objective is to check candidates' motivation to study in this case for two years um, and uh, participate in in the classes and uh, in the uh, in the lectures. Um, if I would have to give an advice to a candidate, it would be to really think about why they have selected their study and what kind of competences they would like to develop, what they would like to um, to learn. So this is a good uh, thing uh, to um, consider before participating in this interview, to be sure what are you actually expecting. Uh, as ex expectations and motivation is one of the things that uh, as a committee uh, we are trying to verify during this exam, during the uh, during the, the interviews and of course the understanding of the general management uh, texts uh, and in case of uh, studies in English it also proves that if the candidate understand this text he or she speaks uh, English that uh, enable them to take courses in English. Mm -hmm. Thank you Agnieszka uh, and Gazis back to you since you are a graduate of English studies program I know that the admission process was um, quite uh, a long time ago, <laughs> in 2015, but maybe you remember how it was for you and was it hard, was it difficult, did you manage to apply by yourself or you needed help of someone uh, during the admission process, how was it with you? Uh, thank you. Uh, as an international student, my case uh, can be a little bit of different than local uh, ones, uh, but uh, generally the process was uh, really uh, accessible and understandable. Also, uh, uh, the, the process generally took very uh, short of time. Uh, it, uh, I remember I started my application uh, in the beginning of August in 2015. So I first submitted my documents and uh, uh, started uh, sending them uh, my uh, high school diplomas and everything. Uh, after that, uh, within uh, five working days, uh, I received already a positive offer and uh, they may, uh, uh, they scheduled an uh, online interview uh, in, in English to, uh, to, ch to check my proper English. Of course, uh, English studies program is itself as it's uh, uh, yes. needed. Uh, you needed to have a proper English for that. Uh, and then uh, after passing it, I uh, received already my uh, a uh, letter, a uh, sentence letter, and with it I could apply uh, to a visa and come to Poland. So uh, one of the things that may, uh, m many students are afraid are uh, that uh, the, they don't know how where to start. And in this mm -hmm. case, I would strongly suggest just to go to the uh, university page and uh, open the admissions page and write to the uh, email, or, or you can just call them. Uh, mm -hmm. And there are very, there, there were ni really nice people who were responsive, uh, at the at the same time helpful uh, of all documents and uh, in other questions, of course, if you had any. Uh, uh, as a general, uh, as a international student, uh, it was really easy uh, to come uh, here, uh, and the, the process took very short of time. So this, uh, I think, one of the. Uh, you, uh, you, one of the good sides of uh, Pol 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 Polish education system, the, the, uh, the, the, this kind of stuff, is uh, highly, uh, uh, let's say, automated and everyone gets a good response at the end. Great, thank you, Gazis. Um, now back to Agnieszka. Um, we have a lot of questions about the career prospects for students uh, and graduates of a uh, management program. Because like everyone knows what management is, but where can you actually work after you finish the studies? So could you tell us? Mm -hmm. It's a it's a pretty good question, uh, Dorota. I <laughs> think uh, Mateusz mentioned before that the psychology students they already know what they would like to do, and that's why they choose particular uh, specialization. In case of management student, I think we have two cases. So one case. Now, the first case uh, are the students who from the beginning know what they would like to do uh, and they have a plan, they have um, um, 
a goal that they would like to pursue during their studies. For example, establishing their own company. That's why they want to study management uh, to gather the knowledge about the techniques on how to, for example, motivate their employees, how to set up company, uh, how to manage projects, etc. On the other hand, uh, and this is the second case, we have students who um, already studied some different degree. They started working in a company in some corporation, for example, and they have been promoted. Um, I don't want to say that it was a surprise for them, but sometimes what they realize is that they need some more managerial knowledge in order to develop in this organization and um, and also to have particular skills that are required in their new position. So these students, uh, maybe they are not surprised about being promoted, uh, but they have this uh, urgent need to um, to develop their skills and um, they are still exploring what exactly they would like to learn. And now I'm thinking there is a third case of, um, of students, and these are the students who are maybe not really sure what they would like to do after they graduate. So they also use uh, their studies, especially at the BA level, to actually understand what um, they can do after management. And they, during their internships, they try working in different companies. They do their first internship in marketing, the second one in sales, and the third one in project management. And they want to learn, they want to experience what kind of job what kind of job positions best suits them and uh, so so we have actually three three cases of students um, now formally um, students can also choose specialization and in case of the um, uh, bachelor level uh, we have a project management and startup track so the first one is for students who are interested in uh, pursuing their career in in the area of project management uh, maybe they are already working in some company and they are part of project teams so they want to learn about tools and techniques that might be useful in this particular uh, in, in the jobs uh, and in case of startup track uh, we have students who are thinking about establishing their own company or they are already running an organization uh, in case of MA studies on, on management studies we have two tracks the first one is uh, a managerial track so this is um, um, this track is uh, aimed at developing competences and skills and gaining knowledge that will be useful when working in uh, large organizations, in international organization, different managerial positions. And we also have the track for the uh, entrepreneurs. So once again, students who are running or thinking about uh, starting their own company. Um, what, um, what is really important uh, is that um, managerial studies help students to develop skills and competences that they may use in different work context and in different organizations. So they have pretty uh, transversal character. So they can be transferred from one job position to another. If someone is good in problem solving, he or she may work in different type organizations and basically put this competence, put this skill in, in practice. Um, so I think that the students are also, these this, uh, studies are also for students who uh, don't know yet what they would like to do after they graduate, but they know that they would like to learn some competences that definitely will be important uh, in future. Thank you, Agnieszka. Um, Mateusz, how about uh, career prospects of students and graduates um, of psychology, but also uh, on bachelor studies and also master studies? I know that we also get uh, um, questions about the um, uh, student practice, work practice. So if you could tell us in which places uh, they can do this, this the, the work practice and where they can work after the graduation, that would be perfect. Uh, <clears throat> OK, so maybe let's start from, I think, practice and then mm -hmm. we'll will go forward with uh, what can happen after uh, ending uh, our studies and so I mentioned before but but I will just uh, quickly remind that uh, 
Psychological internships may take the following form, uh, both on applied social psychology and clinical, uh, clinical psychology specializations. Uh, and it will be institutional, which is organized by the uh, by uh, by the department and uh, published in the offer of the co course uh, to uh, to enroll for uh, all students uh, which uh, are on the second year because uh, um, practicum uh, starts uh, those internships starts on the second year in winter there is one. Uh, 90 hours and there is another one uh, in summer semester and uh, we have two so uh, either student can choose to do both as the institutional ones so we'll prepare the offer for the student and a student will choose from the offer which um, a practicum is interesting for him uh, or for her so you can just enroll and there is also another option, it's called individual one. So it's in a way the self-organized by a student in the cooperation with a chosen institution. Uh, so you can do that individual internship in your country, for example, in a different country. You can make it in Poland where you found something interesting for you and it didn't appear in the offer of our university. Then you just have a, a supervisor from our university who will check all the necessary documentation and will grade your uh, basically practical. So um, what more? I think that uh, it's good to mention that a psychological internship may be also organized in a research from uh, and maybe I think pursued within the scope of research projects. So uh, even including grants conducted at SWPS University, uh, providing that such an internship fulfills uh, the outcomes of a psychological internship. And, um, and then we can go to a subject of <clears throat> career prospects. Uh, so Basically, graduates in, of, of a clinical psychology program, for example, they can uh, pursue many professional opportunities and career paths. It can be, it totally depends on your specialization and pro professional certification, but it can be built successful career in clinical psychology, in psychopathology, in psychotherapy, social work, counseling, uh, behavioral analysis neuropsychology and even educational and academic psychology, cross-cultural psychology consultations, life coachings. And when it comes to applied, uh, applied program, uh, you can um, basically you can pursue three major paths in your professional career. So it's including research, uh, consultancy or policy, uh, policy advising. Uh, as researchers working at the university and uh, research insti uh, in institutions. Uh, you might be involved in training and development, coaching, leadership, management, uh, communication and public relations, as well as, yeah, again, teaching. Or you can simply pursue your PhD in the field of psychology. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mateusz. Um, and of course, and when we are talking about the career, I have to ask Gazis about your experience. We are often asked if it's possible to work and study, and how was it with you? Yeah, thank you for the question. Uh, yeah, probably this is the question that most uh, prospective students want to uh, know more about. Uh, it, students generally in Poland can work uh, as a part-time for 20 hours per week. Uh, but uh, also uh, graduates of Polish universities can stay in Poland for uh, one year uh, for searching the job after graduating, of course. And uh, this time, uh, I think, is enough uh, to find uh, work and uh, uh, stay here. Uh, the, I studied English studies, so my, uh, pro, the, my uh, education and the, the work I'm doing uh, is not correlated at all, but uh, despite uh, studying English studies, there, uh, my program was unique. Uh, unique in a sense that it, it had uh, links to management programs within our university, 
and psychology programs. Uh, so uh, I had uh, courses like human resources, marketing, uh, business management, uh, career counseling, uh, all the necessary courses that uh, lead up uh, to my current uh, position where I am now. Uh, generally, uh, Poland uh, after uh, 2010 uh, became a hub uh, for many international uh, big companies, whether it's uh, financially, uh, financial companies, financial services companies, or IT companies, or fast moving consumer goods companies. So they are all coming to Poland and locating uh, their uh, probably uh, second or sometimes third biggest uh, offices. Uh, in the world, in, in, in Poland. And uh, this is a great opportunity for all students uh, who graduate from here uh, because there are many job opportunities uh, you can pursue and uh, lots of internships are going on. Uh, internships uh, usually from uh, minimum uh, time is three months and sometimes it can go to up to one year internship, which you can combine uh, while studying uh, at the university, which is, I think, for students, uh, is really a uh, uh, good opportunity uh, to get experience at the same time uh, to learn more about uh, what they can do in the future. Uh, currently, I work uh, at uh, Goldman Sachs, which is uh, American investment firm. Uh, and uh, the, the experience was uh, really nice. Uh, I already worked at Accenture and DMP Paribas Security Services, so biggest uh, companies uh, in their own fields uh, and all thanks to that that I studied at SOPS and also I would like to mention that uh, many graduates of psychology faculty became HRs uh, of <laughs> local comp uh, like companies here so when you go there you may have some friendly faces or people who know at least one teacher or one uh, professor that you had courses with so it really helps uh, to, to to, to to have those kind of people as well, uh, especially when you are when you don't know anyone in that company, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, if uh, people would like to contact me, uh, then of course I'm very open, uh, and uh, even I can refer you, uh, I can help you with your careers uh, if uh, really asked. So. Yeah. Yeah, Adriana already told me that there are people in the chat saying that they will sign up for the um, uh, meeting, online meeting with you. So, guys, yes. be prepared <laughs> that you'll yes. be, you will be busy. Indeed, indeed. Um, uh, so, you, you, you told us about your career. I wanted to ask, uh, how do you feel living in Poland and have you got any plans for the future? Will you stay here or are you planning to move to another country? Uh, it has been almost seven years uh, that I've been living in Poland uh, and uh, uh, currently I do not have any future plans to move out from Poland. Uh, I would like to stay here and uh, uh, continue uh, my work. Uh, living in Poland gave me a lot of opportunity. Uh, Poland was the first country that I came uh, as a, uh, the first foreign country that I lived along uh, far away from my family. Uh, but uh, local people, uh, my friends, uh, who became my friends, uh, didn't let me uh, feel alone. So th this was the most important thing for me. And uh, Poland is a member of European Union and Schengen area, which uh, means that you get to travel a lot to various countries. And there are also direct flights, buses, various transportation mm -hmm. generally. Uh, you can uh, use and go to like Germany or Western countries, North uh, North countries. So uh, all these kind of opportunities really help you to have a good student life. Uh, and then, of course, if you stay here and continue working, then you will have more international uh, international uh, community here. And the the number of uh, foreigners in Poland is uh, constantly growing. So. Uh, the uh, uh, East Europe is considered like mostly local people, but uh, it's changing now. So uh, you can uh, even in Warsaw, for example, you, you, if you go outside, you can uh, see many uh, uh, nationalities and uh, interact them. So uh, in a sense that uh, Poland is really growing and I like it. Thank you, Gazi, so much. Um... So I have one more question to each of my experts today, of my guests, and we'll start with Agnieszka. 
And this is the first, uh, the favorite, the most favorite question of every uh, expert or guest that we have on our webinars. So Agnieszka, first one is for you. If you could give any advice to our candidates, what would it be? So I, as always, I'm going to say it's difficult to just think about one advice. Uh, but uh, listening now to Gazis, um, uh, I think that uh, investing in learning competences and skills uh, that can be used in different contexts is very important. And Gazis mentioned that uh, he speaks five different languages, uh, and this is a you know a skill, a competence that uh, well, Gazis, you will be able to use. I imagine in any country and uh, in any type of work that you do, even if yeah. sometime you decide that you would like to change completely. The, your field of work. Uh, so I would say that take into consideration that our geopolitical situation is changing and our labor ma market is also uh, dynamically changing. And probably uh, our current students in the future will be working uh, at, uh, um, at some job positions that don't exist yet and they will be solving the problems that didn't uh, emerge yet. So I think investing in learning competences that can be transferred to different um, disciplines, different field of, fields of work as uh, languages, as problem solving, leadership. Um, I, I think that's a good idea to, to invest in that particularly. Thank you, Agnieszka. Gazis, how about you? One advice? Uh, I would like to give advice, uh, uh, advice uh, for prospective students. So uh, it will be be open for new things, uh, challenge yourself. And uh, uh, don't be afraid uh, to ask questions. So uh, after that, I, I, I guess there will be many students who will get this advice and uh, change their lives like me that I Thank did you, like Gazis. seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gazis. Mateusz, advice from you? Uh, OK, so there were many good advices already uh, spoken here. Uh, I remember uh, last year when we we met with uh, first year students and there was always that question uh, and I think even if uh, you're watching it and you're, you're thinking about being our student or even uh, being a student of different university, I would advise you firstly to remember to read the syllables for classes because <laughs> there is always everything in there and uh, hard work always pays. So always, as Gazis uh, mentioned before, uh, always don't be afraid to ask questions. It doesn't matter to whom, lecturers, management, other people. If you need something and you don't know, just ask a question because it will really help you a lot. And uh, we are open, so we can always help you with it. And last but not maybe least, so um, I always remember that type of a quote uh, that the best way to predict your future is to create it. So, yeah, so I think I'm focusing on this one. And if someone wants to take it and, and uh, focus on it, then please. Thank, Thank you, Mateusz. Uh, so the webinar is coming to an end. If you have any last questions, you can type them uh, right now. I'm sure Adrian, uh, Adriana will uh, answer them. Uh, I would like to take, uh, thank you so much for participating in the online meeting with me and my guests. Uh, today, I had the pleasure to talk to Agnieszka Golinska. Thank you, Agnieszka. Thank you very much for the invitation, uh, invitation and thank you for all the people who are listening to us right now for your participation okay. in the webinar. Thank you. Thank you, Mateusz. Thank you. <laughs> and thanks, Gazis, that you came here today. I'm sure everyone would like to talk to you right now after the webinar. So feel free to fix an appointment with Gazis. <laughs> thank thanks, you, Gazis. Thank you. Yes, uh, uh, since uh, this year, since the starting of this year, I'm ambassador. So uh, I can uh, give advices. Uh, if you go to the website, you can appoint, uh, appoint uh, make, up, make an appointment. So I'd be really helpful uh, to answer your questions. And uh, yeah, thank you for the webinar. Thank you, Gazi. So, and the last advice from me is to apply, of course, as soon as possible, since we are accepting candidates until uh, we reach the limit of places. So please remember um, that you can always contact us via phone or email, or you can also book an online meeting and we'll help you with the whole process. Thank you so much for today and see you the next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>